Welcome to our session on light. This should support year eights mainly in their topic on light. And I'm going to be talking about some of the rays that come through a glass block. So first of all, before we even go to the glass block, we'll just talk about reflection. Here I've got a mirror. Hello. And what we're going to be doing is just looking at the simple reflection. So if I cause a simple reflection from my light, you'll see that I get an opposite reflection there onto the paper. Now that reflection on this kind of surface will always be an exact angle of what comes in. So we call this kind of reflection a specular reflection because of a flat surface with an even angle. So as I change the angle, the same angle there will represent the angle over here. We also have a dispersed reflection which would be from water and it would be reflected at all different angles. So let's go to our glass block and let's start having a look at how light actually travels. So first of all, you'll see that we have, if I straighten this up, a dead straight line through the block. And that straight line is a transparent light ray through the glass block. We call that the normal ray. Okay. Now, that normal ray, as we draw through the glass block, will just show, like I said, a transparent ray of light. However, we'll notice that this glass block is also translucent when we start to play with the angle of the light. So now what I've done is I've angled the light at a different position. So as the light comes in here, we call that an incident ray, or an angle of incidence as we see here, I'll call that I. And as it comes out of the block, you'll also notice that there is an angle on that. Now, if I remove the block, we'll see that there is a join. However, the light has changed direction. As you can see, that's not a dead straight line, which is quite important to notice due to the way that light can be changed but can never be bent. So we call this ray here the refracted ray, that's refraction, that's how that works. Now you'll also notice if we really did turn the lights off that we'd also get a reflected ray here and these angles should equal the same because this reflection is a specular reflection that you'll notice too so these angles should also be the same. You'll also notice that if I parallel to the normal ray the refraction will also cause an angle this angle here is also the incident angle, which will match the incident angle over here. My favourite part to this is when we use a prism, we can direct light in all different ways. As we spin the prism around, you'll see light changes direction in a number of ways. I think the real Piela resistance of the light world is when we start to spread the light and what we do is we diffuse this light so that it goes into the different colours of the rainbow. Now I'm going to flick the lights off for this one. And hopefully you can see the different colours of the rainbow. So this effect of the light turning into the rainbow is called dispersion. It's the dispersion of the white light into the colours of the rainbow. See if you can name those colours. So let's uh, just do a recap. Um, we've got our block, our light block. This light through here has a name. Would you like to have a go at naming that? Also, if I create an angle with the light ray, we have a light ray coming in and a light ray going out. What is the angle called that is relative to the straight line? What is this light ray called? What do we call this kind of reflection? And what should hang up happen to these 
angles at the outside of the reflection. If we also want to use the correct terminology, what is the name called for when the white light changes to all the rainbow colours? Have a go yourself and enjoy. Goodbye for now.